Honestly, I just need to vent. I think that's something that a lot of people don't realize about me is how ambitious I actually am. My friends, they know this very well. The people around me in real life, they know that I am a very ambitious person. I am a go-getter. Okay, I am a go-getter. I see something that I want and I will do everything in my power to obtain that thing, if not the next best thing. With my ambition comes a sense of materialism. Okay, I'm a pretty materialistic person. I'm not afraid to admit that. But at the same time, I do feel like it can become a problem at times when I start to prioritize my materialistic ways over my essence, right? And my essence is what has gotten me to this point where I'm speaking to this camera in my own apartment with you guys watching. That is what has gotten me this far, is moving on faith, right? Doing what I love to do and making that the priority as opposed to the things that I want the priority and this just a means of getting those things. You see, something about me is that I have a very strong masculine side and a very strong feminine side. And when I say masculine and feminine, I'm referring to divine masculine and divine feminine. What I mean by that is, from a spiritual perspective, masculinity is much like fire, okay? It is driven by passion, that burning desire. It gets rid of everything in its path, whereas the feminine energy is more like water. It flows, it conforms, it's capable of destruction, okay? Just like fire, just like the masculinity, it is capable of destruction and devastation when left unchecked. Right, when you lose that sense of balance. And I feel like that's what's been happening to me these past few months, especially, is I've been losing my sense of balance between the masculine and the feminine, the divine masculine and the divine feminine. And maybe this will resonate with you. If you've been dealing with the same thing, then this will definitely resonate with you. But I feel like I have a very strong ego, which is the masculine, it's rooted in the masculine energy. It's often scarcity-based, fear-based. It's focused on survival at any cost, okay, by any means necessary. Whereas the feminine is rooted in the soul. Okay, it's rooted in faith, blind faith a lot of the time. And following your intuition as opposed to your logical, rational mind. Now, I've talked about this in the past, but I feel like me following my intuition has gotten me much further in life than thinking logically, right? I feel like life is kind of like driving down the road at night, okay? Imagine, just picture this in your heads, okay? Close your eyes and picture this in your heads. Imagine that you're driving down the road at night. There's no street lights on the side of the road. All you have to see in front of you, the only tool that you have at your disposal is your car's headlights. Now, you can maybe see 30 to 50 feet ahead of you, Beyond that, it is pure darkness, pitch black, okay? At that point, you can no longer rely on logic, right? You are no longer reliant upon logic, you're reliant upon faith, or better yet, you're reliant upon logic within that 30 to 50 foot radius, that 30 to 50 foot range. But in the long term, okay, as far as beyond that small range, you have to rely on faith. If you try to map out the rest of the road and you can't see it, you'll drive yourself crazy. You'll just go in circles mentally, okay? Because logic only works based on what it can see, right? It can only work based on its perception. And that's why a lot of times it doesn't understand, you know, the divine masculine doesn't understand the power that you have if you just surrender to the universe and go with the flow as people like to say, just go with the divine flow of things. And like I said, I tend to kind of fluctuate back and forth between that divine masculine and that divine feminine. And both sides for me are very, very powerful. It's like an eternal tug of war between the two. But I feel like it's the times where I get those two energies into alignment, into that balance, okay, that optimal balance, where I achieve my flow state. And by flow state, I mean I'm able to go after the things that I desire, or better yet, 
be the person that I need to be to allow those things to come to me and enjoy that process instead of subjecting myself to all of this extra suffering from being attached to the things that I desire. Okay, and like I said, a lot of times that attachment comes from the logical side of our minds, the divine masculine side of our beings, because it only operates based on what it can see. So if it doesn't see the desire in the form that it expects to see it in, right there in front of you, it perceives that as the lack of desire, hence the scarcity mindset that I talked about earlier. But that is the root of suffering, of anguish, of pain, is scarcity. The idea of scarcity. And I think that the only way to transcend that scarcity mindset is to fall back into that feminine energy. But like I said, you need balance, okay? If you have just water, okay, oceans, they can kill people too, just like fire can. If you have just the right amount of fire, okay, at a, a bonfire, for example, maybe you have a campfire in the woods, if you have just enough fire to keep you warm, you're good, right? But if you have too much fire, for example, you could cause a forest fire. In the same way, water is necessary for survival. Okay, that flow, we need that. We are 70% water, but too much water will drown you. It'll kill you. Okay, it's all about divine balancing, finding the balance between masculine and feminine energy. And like I said, I'm not just talking about masculine and feminine energy in terms of humans i'm talking about in terms of spirits your spiritual masculinity your spiritual femininity okay and that's something that i've struggled to do for pretty much my entire life up to this point just being able to be grateful for where i am have faith in what i can't see have faith that as i continue to drive down this road the road will continue to unfold for me even though i can't see it that's not a very easy thing to do, okay? And a lot of people, they would rather either stop, okay, pull over, turn around even, and just go somewhere that they can find light. But in doing so, they are sacrificing their desired reality because that road is the only way you can get there, okay? You can only get there by taking that path of faith, blind faith, and for me personally, I'm no stranger to that, but that doesn't make it any easier. You know, I've, I've taken many chances on myself. I've bet on myself time and time again, and it's always paid off. Hence where I am right now filming this video. But at the same time, it's like, when will I be satisfied? When will I allow myself to be satisfied while also knowing that I can and will achieve more in my life? Because I feel like at times my ego perceives satisfaction, gratitude even, as the lack of purpose, as me settling for less than what I'm worth. But what if I'm worth feeling happy? What if that's what I'm actually worth, as opposed to a dollar amount, a subscriber count, a certain car that I may want, certain clothes that I may want? What if happiness is the goal? And I could just experience that right now. And what if doing that would actually attract the things that I want quicker as opposed to me feeling like I need to fill this void from within? Because if you do that, if you operate from that place of scarcity, happiness will always be just out of reach because you're always going to want more. You're never going to be satisfied. The key is feeling grateful for everything that you have while pursuing everything that you desire. And that's not easy especially for someone like me with the strong masculine and strong feminine energies. Like I said, it's like an eternal tug of war, but I need to do some introspection and figure out what the root cause of these imbalances are and just slow down that momentum within myself. Stop bouncing around from side to side and just exist. Just be present and allow everything to flow in divine timing 